Hello everyone. Um, today I'm doing the review on the new BCD 160DN that radio just come came out with DMR and NXDN conventional built right in. It's selling for two hundred and forty nine dollars. Keep in mind it has no Apco um, twenty five digital in, into it. But let me compare it. Um, first of all, let me tell you what it includes. Um, it comes with uh, two manuals, one Spanish, one English, two batteries. So it runs on two AA rechargeable batteries. It's got a power strap, which I haven't took out of the bag yet, and then the cable. Um, it doesn't come with the actual adapter to charge it up with, but I'll show you some of the accessories I have. Um, here is the charger I got. I can get it off of eBay, and... Um, I'll show you the end plug, how it looks. And it's just $10 counting free shipping. It's the same kind of plug um, that they, um, it has to be a 5 volt, but it's the same one that the um, the BC125AT unit then radio has. And it also has the same, sort of the same size. It's 1 and a fourth times 2 and a fourth times 4 and a half inches long. So... I got a little stand for it here that I put right into it like that. And it fits in there just right. And uh, I'll show you some other accessories I have. I got the uh, case for it. It's the same case that a 125 would take. And a couple accessories that you can get is uh, it takes a BNC antenna connector. And, of course, the BNC antenna comes with it, the rubber ducky. And um, here's a couple different accessories you can get. If you got an outside antenna with, a, like, a cable TV F connector, you can connect to that to get longer range. Or you can get a PL259, like a CB or HAM would have, and uh, connect it to BNC. You can find those adapters off of eBay. Um, also, um, this these radios have... A thousand channels compared to the 125, so it has a hundred channels in each bank instead of uh, 50. There's no close call, but it has a band scope, which I will tell you more about. And um, and what do you get on NXDN? I'll tell you the the railroad eventually said that's the format they're going to be going to within the next year or so. So uh, you'll be all set with the uh, railroad if you like listening to them. In my area alone, on DMR and NXDN, I get the road commission, taxi companies, ham radio, factories, and school buses. But what else is on, on DMR or NXDN? You can find um, probably uh, other public safety, tow trucks, casinos, media, and, of course, ham radio. But it differs from city to city, okay? Like I say, it takes two AA batteries, but um, when you charge it up, if you got regular alkaline batteries, you'll take that too. But if you try charging it up, it'll, it will let you know that it's uh, that you got the wrong kind of batteries in as far as charging. Don't don't ever try to charge alkaline. Just common sense on that. Um, it would say battery error. Um, and also the, uh, to charge it up, the flap is right here on the side. There's a little flap that comes off and you can tune it right into that. Um, and, um, and what happens is you can put this on search and you can find, the uh, um, frequencies, analog, DMR, NXDN, what the codes are. Now, DMR has, uh. Uh, what do they got? Like 15 codes, um, 63 codes for NXDN. And the, like PL has, uh, which same thing as CTCSS, 38 codes. And a DCS has 106 codes. So you can search and find what it is. And and um, it's kind of amazing. That way you can find out what it is. That, then you can program it the correct way. NXDN stands for Next Generation Digital Narrowband. DMR stands for Digital Mobile Radio. It's really clear reception. More and more places are going to it. 
Now, like your other radios, it has a common settings. It's got the squelch setting from 0 to 15. Your light, I have it um, for this demonstration. I got it so it's on all the time. But you can set it so it comes on with the squelch or with a key press. Or you could put it for 10 seconds or 30 seconds. It's got a temporary lockout button, which will lock it out temporarily until you turn it back on again. You know, if you get a birdie or don't want a channel to listen to, and then you tap it twice and it'll lock it out for good until you go to settings and bring it back in that way. It's got your signal strength meter. You you tap the where the volume is, and it will show how much battery power you got left. As you can see that. And it also, when it, when somebody talks on it, you will see a signal strength meter to know how close they are on that. Um, I love the radio, and um, it's got features of uh, other radios. It's got the tone-out things. It's got, uh, I'll tell you, you go to function or menu. Let's see, I got to get used to this too because this is a new radio. You go to a search and you can do service search. So you can choose automatically by just hitting like three buttons, the FRS, GMRS, or MERS. You got CB radio, airband, railroad, marine, ham radio, media, public safety, and... Um, you got three customs, which I'll show you. Military air, FM broadcast, racing. So like, like wow, I just live in a small town. So I got like FM radio into number zero. So it's like a regular radio station. See, I, I'm getting like 10 channels just, just by uh, local. So it picks up pretty well. So you can program it the way you want, but I got that just in one, so it's like a FM radio at the same time. And it has a lot more range, frequency range than the 125. It will it will pick up um, 25 to 512 megahertz. And then, um, which includes your CB and, and ham and your FM commercial... Then it will start again at 758 to 824, 849 to 869 megahertz, and then 894 to 960 megahertz. So uh, that is pretty cool there. And um, I will now show you how to use a band scope in a second here. Okay, to put it in band scope, I almost need like four hands, but I'll show you. You press in, for a demonstration that is, otherwise you don't need four hands, but uh, you press in, uh, well, I got it programmed into function three, okay? And you can see how that's going like that, okay? It'll do uh, two megahertz at a time, whatever you want to program it to. And I got a, a two-way radio here that I'm going to program and show you how you can find frequencies that way. I'm going to... Key the mic, and um, it will be locking in on something. So I am keying the microphone on my portable walkie-talkie now, and you can see how one line got really big, okay? So all I got to do is take that bottom little line there and get it so it's right underneath it. Right underneath it like so. And then put press it on hold. And there it is. You got the frequency. Testing one, two, three. Getting feedback because it's going through the radio, of course. So you can find frequencies that way, which is cool. And um, now I'll show you another way. You also the um like band scope, I got it in custom three, but you can program the customs whatever you want. Let's see, function two, I got the FRS MERS on there. 
and function one, I got 24 hour weather, okay? Which my nearest radio station is like 40 miles away, so I am getting it. And um, now I'm gonna put it on search. You go to this, search. I hope you can see this, search. And then I go, um, custom search. Now I got custom search, scanning the UHF band. And I'll key the mic on my portable radio again. And it, there it goes. It shows the frequency. So you can search the frequencies that way. And it'll automatically show the PL tone too, if you can see that. This particular PL tone was 131.8, and I'm getting that feedback. That's what that squeal is. So you can find out new frequencies this way. So it is really cool. I hope you enjoy it. If you need any um, information, make sure you click the like or send me questions, and I can make another video on it. Um, but it has a lot of features. you got any questions, just let me know. It's the same size as a BC125, which I think is like four and a half inches long by two and a fourth times one and a fourth. Retails for $249. It just came out. Like I say, it doesn't have your digital on there, but if you want the railroad or want to get these DMR and NXDN, because if you're not getting some of the things on there, they may be on one of those formats. So you might want to get this radio, and, and it's kind of cool because it searches. You can put it on the search feature. And you can get it that way. And I'm even getting a taxi company from um, 30 miles away. So, you know, of course, they're on a repeater. But goes to show you it's got a good range. So any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.